Hello Sagittarius, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So we are going to do a new moon spread for you, okay? Um, this is going to be your, I don't even know how to say it, it's just a, a new moon spread. Um, we're going to like ask, be asking what you're like searching for, right? As far as like love, career, money, whatever it may be. I believe the full, the new moon is, uh, if I'm not mistaken on the 13th or the 12th, don't quote me on that, but we're going to go ahead and get started. First, I want to grab your energy to start off the reading and then we're going to go from there. Happy new year, you guys. So let's see, for Sagittarius, new moon in Sagittarius, for Sagittarius, new moon in January, for Sagittarius. This is like, for some of you, you guys don't know. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this one. All right, spirit, thank you. So I'm gonna take Destiny. <clears throat> All right, so all that I shall need to know as I walk shall now be shown. Eight could mean of great significance. Okay, so this is um, telling me, Sag, where you are in fact, um, you know, you're embracing the need or the want to actually like move forward in your life. This is what I'm getting. So let's start busting out the tarot for you. If you guys haven't done so already, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Trust me, I um, I have fallen off my horse a couple of times last year just because, you know, there's like, a lot of stuff going on. But now it's like, okay, I'm back on my A game and we're going to do this, you guys, okay? <laughs> All right, so. Ooh, 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 ooh. So, this is going to be in your card. Alright, at the bottom of the deck is the tower. So, the tower to... Uh, the tower signifies where there's like a sudden change, right? A disaster or an uncertainty. But it is not always like a bad thing, okay? Um, so I'm going to set that go out here to the side. Uh, okay. All right. Ooh, so you got two here, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Um, let's see. So the, the question we want to ask first is like, what is it that Sagittarius is looking for right now? Okay. Um, so we have the seven of cups and the four of pentacles. <clears throat> Ooh. So the four of pentacles, it meaning is, is like stability and stagnation because you are under, you know, you're seeking something physical. You want to use your common sense or you are because pentacles is, you know, grounded, you know, it's in the physical aspect. Um, so there's a stability to have, um, kind of like uh, a physicality in your life and I do feel here with the seven of cups you do have choices that could this could be like where love is coming in you know there's multiple offers or there, you know for your job as well like you know like your instincts will let you know obviously your <laughs> your intuition will tell you so here with the uh, we also see the seven of cups like you, you want to listen to your gut listen to your instinct your intuition whatever it may be however you do this and it's like a sense of discovery and um, reflection as well. So you want to know like, okay, what is going to be suitable for me in the long run? What's going to happen? I want to do like dive deeper. So this is kind of like what is going on for you, Sag, uh, for the new moon in January. Um, so now let's see what is going to happen. Um, like, let's see what you have left behind in that search, like the search for your next step. Okay. 
the two of cups obviously it is love it is partnership okay you want something stable stability and emotional um stability right and this is like you want balance and you it's like where you have that choice to be with someone and you kind of want to have that like fruitful and beautiful relationship with someone and i do feel here where there is also like involvement right um investment as well this is what you're seeking out so let's see what is it that you are not um committing to right now what is it that you are not committing to okay so the sun <laughs> this is funny so this is the vitality and um the like the the wrath like the enlightenment right now you're you want to so i do see here where you're you are like straying away from how can i say this for you sag you're straying away from the happiness you're looking at this like more or less the point of view of like business type like if you're going to be in a relationship like we're going to do this 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 that you can do this this is that so what you're you want to be hopeful you want to be like grateful a lot of gratitude that's you know you we're here it's 2021 okay and Ener take however the re the energy resonates you know you could be watching like in the future whatever and <clears throat> oh man just throat chakra so for this this is telling me sag where you want to have enlightenment you want to be more light-hearted okay um and not so kind of like okay cut throat i know that you know your your stuff okay uh but for this aspect that you're looking for you know this partnership however it may be or the next step in your partnership or even your job right your career you want to be light-hearted so you want to be like you know what like whatever comes to me comes to me and it whatever is meant for me will be meant for me rather than being like i'm not saying you're pessimistic but you want to be more optimistic is is what i'm getting at and then finally we have have here what have uh let's see what have you been what have you been too careless about this is what i'm asking okay the fool <laughs> so um your innocence your spontaneity you like you go balls to the wall like you you don't care about the repercussions um you just go forth and i do feel like you have been burned out in the past whatever your situation may be for the new moon in january <clears throat> And this is kind of like triggering you um, to like kind of like fall back or it's like leading you back to like, well, shit, like what am I doing? Right. So finally, let's see the advice that they have that spirit has. OK, the eight of cups again, being stable. Right. Spirit wants you to be stable and have that recognition towards like a better movement. OK, um, again, listening to your instincts. This is one aspect that you want to keep in mind where you yourself, you have that the, the confidence and it's always been in you. OK, so <clears throat> we're going to get some romance oracles out here. Why? Because, you know, I just want to for the fuck of it. And then we're going to get some like advice for your career. And we're well, actually we're gonna get some more like lovers oracle and stuff like that but the thing is like sag let's see what do we have for sagittarius and new moon for the new moon in january honeymoon okay so this is retreat if you're with somebody you can't you got you're gonna want to go on adventures or it's kind of like you're gonna want to like spend more time with this new person that's in your life enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so this i'm gonna put it right here just because of the fact that um you yeah see new love at the bottom of the deck a new person has stirred your romantic feelings so this is telling me sag where <laughs> you're at the point where you're letting someone in a little bit more if you're already talking to someone or you know if you're going to be on the next level of commitment i feel like your person has been wanting to commit with you like on the next level but you're just like on your grind which is like perfectly fine you know and then like if you're letting someone else new then you're gonna start like um acknowledging them so let's see what advice they have for this um next step in love this new love 
Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and take that one. So it is awakening, right? Uh, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. So it's like go with the flow, uh, let it be. Be, um, be one with yourself. Um, don't set so many like boundaries where you kind of like start smothering yourself is what I'm getting. And um, yeah, it'll like stuff will start... <sighs> Oh my god, I'm, I'm only talking too fast. It's just like, it's been so long since I've been here. You guys, I'm just getting excited. Okay, what is this? The Ace of Cups. Ooh, yeah, so new love. Okay, anyway, hey, so let's get some lovers' messages. Let's see what this person has to say. Um, okay, this is really, really, really beautiful, actually. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you, but your soul and memories you have shared with those you love. So it's kind of like this is telling me where it's okay to enjoy life you know it's it's you don't have to like i'm not gonna it's not for everybody okay but you know don't be so uptight there we only have this one life to live and let's live it to the fullest all right okay Sag. so this has been your reading for the first half of january under the new moon don't forget to like comment and subscribe i will see you later